Join me today as I create a whimsical vignette that'll have your guests smiling even before they come in the house. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Life with Marion and Joe and the continuation of my fall 2023 series. And today I'm going to be creating a whimsical vignette in the bay window so that as the guests come up the driveway and onto the walk, they'll be smiling even before they come into the house. It's always great to create and set a mood so that people know what to expect and what better time than during these holiday times. And I consider the fall a holiday now. So I hope you'll enjoy this process that I'm going to show you right now. So stay tuned. Don't forget, please subscribe if you haven't. You don't want to be missing anything that's coming up over the holidays. And you can join us on Facebook at Life with Marianne and Joe. And you can look for me on Instagram at designs by underscore Joe. Okay, stay tuned. Here it comes. All right, so to start the window, I put lights in and I chose to use white because it is brighter. Um, last year, I believe I used gold and it looked very dark from outside. So I figured the white uh, would be would reflect more what's going on in the window. Uh, and it, this is like old school style. It's, uh, I use scotch tape and I use the white wire so it blends in better with the window itself so it doesn't look so crazy from inside even though the curtains are usually closed. But what I did was I come up here. Usually I go across the middle but I didn't this time. I come around and then down and then over and then up and over and down and over up and down. Is this making you dizzy? And down and then across the bottom over here, and then it ends and I have some more here. So what I'm gonna do this year is a lot, um, the past couple of years, I think I've been putting um, a lot of scarecrows in the window, and I'm gonna cut down on the amount of that this year. It's, I'm still gonna make it kind of whimsical looking, but not as crazy as I've been doing it. So next thing in is this apple basket right here in the center. I put a brick in the bottom of this to make it sturdy. Next, I put a bunch of books so the tree will be at a better height. Next, I put this tree in here. I know it looks really sad right now, but hopefully soon it won't. Uh, but what I did was I secured it to the basket on each side, on four sides. I tied it to the basket so it stays nice and sturdy. I'm gonna use leaves to fill up this tree to make it look like a fall tree instead of a Christmas tree. Some pine cones for the spots. And I'm also putting in these logs and this pumpkin and these baskets in order to make a complete fall scene occurring inside here. Now, I'm just showing you I arranged them in layers, one lower than the other. Uh, and actually what I did is I wound up putting them on books to raise them up a little bit more. And here we, then I then layered in some pumpkins and a large scarecrow and I secured him to the tree and uh, I added in some crows for more of a whimsical look. So I have the one major crow right here. I got him in the dollar zone and a couple of his friends right there that I'm going to stick into that tree trunk to make a trio right there. So I have them on the... Um, left side of the the tree and then on the right side I have the large scarecrow and I'm trying to show you holding the camera uh, in a contorted uh, way to show you the um, crows. These are some owls that I picked up at the Dollar Tree and I painted them out and they're going to go in the side windows. And I just scattered some leaves around the bottom uh, for a finished look. And you can see I took some leaves and I scotch taped them to the window to make them look like they were just blowing in the wind. And I'm backing up and you're gonna see it and I'm gonna bring you around the front to take a look at what it looks like from outside. Thanks for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. I'll be seeing you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.